Okay, before we can start, I want to uh, talk about uh, the project in Udini. In Udini, you can go here, for example, you can have the new project, set project, and set recent project. By default, when you work, uh, usually you can open uh, the, the software, you can start, for example, to create something, and when you save, you save it in the folder, in your specific folder. Usually when you work with uh, uh, some studios, maybe you follow some rules of the studios. Uh, for example, uh, when I work in uh, some studios, in some studios uh, we have uh, one folder, okay, is uh, the project, and inside you can have, for example, the folder for uh, for Udini and inside maybe one for compositing and one for render and etc etc et in another studios for example I have the project and I have for example the public is where you can find the final your project, the final sequence, for example, and one is for user. And inside the user, you can find, for example, your name, and inside you can find your folder, for example, Udini or etc. etc. In this way, maybe you can work with more order. You can have the project, you can find Houdini, maybe inside you can find also another kind of uh, folder. But uh, every studios, every company have the uh, our rules for create the, um, the system for archive your project. In this way, in, in, uh, is more chaotic because maybe you have the public with uh, more order. And the user, maybe here you can do everything you want uh, for example uh, i can put uh, everything uh, reference everything is not important uh, what uh, i create here is maybe more chaos but this is more order because you can find maybe the for example the smoke uh, version 01 is my maybe uh, the version 1, the version 02, the version 03, etc, etc. Maybe there is more order in this way. In Udini, you can, for example, create your folder. And usually when, uh, uh, when you work with uh, more uh, people, you need to create, for example, one folder and inside uh, you need to create, for example, Houdini. And inside you can create uh, a different folder for your task you uh, maybe you need. Uh, maybe you can, here is free, you can find the hip file. Okay, hip file is the extension, is the format for save uh, uh, Houdini. And here, for example, find the geometry, and here the render, maybe here the flipbook is uh, the all artpad you can use. Uh, maybe you can also have the reference, or have the reference if you need for create some effects. But all you can find here is um, is taken from Houdini in automatic and is very good for, for work. However, side effects introduce uh, this concept is uh, for create a new project and set project. When you create a new project in automatically, it's open this windows with the, you can uh, project name, and you can say, for example, uh, tutorial week zero one or tutorial one okay it's uh, the the project 
And here you can find, for example, dollar home Houdini project. Okay. Uh, now we can see what what's in uh, uh, Houdini with uh, dollar home. It's the variable, but you can choose your folder. So maybe you can choose the folder and put here and I go here. I have my path with my, uh, well, I, I go, go to save and I can say, uh, maybe I can new folder, week zero one, accept. So I have slash zero one and I say accept. Okay. It's file. Yeah. Let's go. I can go here and I can change because I want this code back. Okay. And you can see now the job is where is my job is in uh, my directory the, with this. And inside this folder, I can create the geometry. Is usually is. Uh, Udini, we use this for when you save the cache in BGO. The Udini digital asset, HDI, the simulation, the alembic, the texturing, the rendering, the flipbook, script, compositing, audio, videos, desktop. Desktop because you can create a different desktop here and maybe you can save and uh, call when you need it. I don't want, and also you have the custom, for example, I can uh, custom and I call re my reference, my folder reference, so we can see in the result. But for example, I don't want all of this folder, so I don't want, uh, I can uncheck the desktop, video, audio. Composite, script, flipbook, texturing, uh, simulation, and I can keep only this folder. I can uh, say accept. I go in my directory. Here I find a week 01, and inside I find tutorial 001, and inside I find the folder I want created. And also I find, for example, my folder reference. If I go here, uh, new project, you can see it's the same with uh, the geometry, gel, HDA, HDA, uh, ABC, ABC, render, render, and my custom is my folder reference. My folder reference is here. So this is the way for create the, the project. Now we can set in the project because we don't need, we don't save. You can see how is uh, untitled, is not saved. So we can go here and you can set the project. You can set the project, you can choose this. You can, for example, call in the same way and accept. Now I set the project, okay. And now I can save, if I save as, I can give the name, for example, tutorial01, accept. And now, now I can find here my tutorial01 is IPLC because I have the indie license is saved here. This is more important because when I work with Houdini, I can use, for example, the uh, variables and the variables and the alias. If I go in uh, edit, alias and variables, alias and variables, here I can find the variables and the variables is the ip, ip file, ip name. This is more important when we work because, for example, if um, I load the geometry from exterior with the exterior path and I switch from uh, Windows to 
uh, to Linux, Linux don't find. With, the, for example, the heap, it's, uh, you can find. is the, the way for create very fast the, the variable and for uh, uh, recall the geometry when you change, for example, uh, uh, your, uh, your workstation. For example, maybe I work here on this workstation. Okay. I don't, usually you have the, the server or the NAS where you, you find your project, okay, in the NAS. But maybe I have here another workstation, workstation one. And here I have workstation two. When you work with Houdini, maybe if you use the relative path, for example, uh, or absolute path, for example, uh, use uh, maybe you save in F like work slash Houdini. Houdini. Maybe this you can call, for example, like heap or like job, okay? Maybe you can change the workstation and this workstation don't find this F, maybe because the F is uh, another element, maybe is the one hard drive you can find here with the USB is called F and you say, hey, I don't find this element, this part. But if you open maybe the file and you can find, for example, the heap or the job like alias, maybe. So it's like heap slash Houdini. Please find this part from by default is uh, uh, understand where is and you can search, you can find, and you can solve this problem because it's uh, use the variable. The variable is more uh, comfortable in more situation. So you can, uh, maybe you can start and use the variable and use also the project folder. So you need to set the project folder. It's the first step. Every time you start the project, you need to set the folder. This is more important when you work. It's uh, the same way, the same uh, uh, situation when you work, for example, with Maya or when you work with, uh, or work it with uh, Softimage, for example, you need to create the folder and set the folder. When you install uh, uh, Udini in the first time, uh, maybe you don't know there is uh, some utilities in extra. For example, you can go in uh, your list, for example, in uh, Windows. Under the side effects, you can find the command line. You can find the geometry view. And uh, the apprentice, this is the, the, the connection for the difference version. But if you have, for example, the, the licensee for uh, apprentice, you can open the effects, but it's automatically is open the apprentice. It's not uh, keep more importance to, to that. The imaging view and the licensee administrator. The licensee administrator now it's connected to the server and show you what the license you are, you are installed, okay? All the imaging view is very uh, nice because the imaging view is uh, the player. You can find also the end play. You can find also inside Houdini when you render, but you can use that for open, for example, your for example, the sequence of your image, or for, for example, I can open one image, for example, I can open this image, okay, with the light grid, I can find online, for example, you can see your image here, or the sequence, okay, so 
this is very uh, comfortable if you don't want to use uh, another player or another tools. Another very nice is the geometry view. The geometry view is the system now is give the error, but we can don't care this is the, um, the nice tools for check your geometry. For example, you can check your geometry here. You can find you have the geometry and then the navigation is the same you can have uh, inside Udini, okay? And maybe this is uh, good because you can uh, export the sequence in, uh, for example, uh, OpenDDB, and you can check your OpenDDB sequence here. Another software I can use inside this course is, uh, for example, the DJVU, DJVU Viewer. It's uh, the player only for image. And this is very good for uh, read, for example, the a AXR sequence. Okay, you can find online, you can go to, for example, Google, you can search DJVU Viewer. And you can find uh, immediately the website where you can download it. It's available also for Windows, Mac, uh, and Linux. So it's uh, it's nice tools. You can use it. Also, there is more information. Another software. It's uh, maybe is a Fusion. You can uh, go to Fusion. You can search Fusion. Fusion from Blackmagic and this is software is uh, one software for create compositing and there is uh, is based on nodes and there is one version is free and one version is a commercial version you can see there is uh, the studios and uh, the no classic version and for example you can Comparate it and can go into the end. You can find this one is free and one is uh, with a very ridiculous price. Okay. Alternative you can use, for example, Nuke, but for Nuke, Nuke is very expensive software, is the standard in the VFX industry. But it's very expensive. Uh, I think there is also one uh, version for uh, learning it. But if you are the little studios, my advice is to use uh, Fusion, for example. But uh, I don't know, there is uh, a lot of uh, software around, so you can use that. But in this course, maybe we can use Fusion or Nuke now, and I don't know. And you can use also the DJVU and uh, side effects uh, uh, Houdini.